So this video ain't got nothing to do with Burkina Faso, but a man hit me up last night on Instagram wanting to know my opinion on black nations rising. So I said to him, what do you mean black nations rising? Now, obviously, I can't understand the term black nations rising, but just elaborate on it a little bit. And he said, oh, you know, like countries like Burkina Faso, Mali wanting to push out European influences and that. I had to respond to him saying, big man, this is what is wrong with people. You've got people here in the UK with their own set of problems, worried about politics and issues and problems in other countries. This is what is wrong with people. You are broke here in the UK. You ain't got time to be worrying about politics in the next country. My brothers and sisters watching this right now. Even when that thing with Palestine and, and, and Israel first kicked off. I remember I used to go on TikTok and that. You scroll on my live feed. And um, there was one new... He was like some sort of lawyer person or whatever, isn't it? And he used to just open up his, his, his chat to people and that. And people will come on and have some mad debates and that. Like, they sound like they want to go to war with each other and that. And I remember on two separate occasions, there was one time East African looking, I mean, the girl's probably Somali, she's wearing a hijab. So one Somalian girl was going off yeah, at some of the other people then. And, and next time one Arab girl was going off. And I'm thinking, blood, you lot are from fucking London. You lot, are, I know you lot are struggling to pay rent. I know you lot are struggling for food. You ain't got time to be debating other people about what's going on in the next country. You need to be focused on what's going on in your world. Let me tell you something right now. If you are poor, if you are struggling, if you're at the bottom of the social economic scale, I don't want to hear no chat about no other country, blood. You need to be focused on what's going on in your world, blood. No chat about nothing else. You should not be speaking about nothing else about from some fucking money. What time is it right now? It's 11.47 right now. About 10 minutes ago, I came from my other house. I was only there for like three hours doing some work and that. I'm ahead of the game. I'm 31 years old. I've got five fucking properties in the UK. I've got one in Egypt as well. I keep forgetting about that. I've got five properties in the fucking UK. And all I do is fucking work. I don't have time to be going on people's platforms and arguing with other people and that. You are distracting yourself. See, this is why people are unsuccessful. And it's almost like, it's almost like a coping mechanism. They deliberately distract themselves so they don't have to put the fucking work in. So like, instead of focusing on bettering yourself, instead of focusing on becoming rich, instead of focusing on becoming successful so that you can provide a better lifestyle for your children and that, you'll get caught up what's going on in other countries. Look, I'm not saying nothing in it, yeah, but I'm just saying like me personally, I don't care what's going on in other countries, yeah? I've got too much things, good and positive things going on in my life. I need to focus on that. I need to, you need to focus on your family, blood. You need to focus on what's going on in your area, in your yard, in your family. Stop worrying about what's going on in other countries. Yeah? Unfortunately, there's things going on in the Middle East and that, but I promise you, like, it's so crazy. You got people in, in England protesting and writing and that about things that are going on in other countries and that. But I promise you, if a war kicked off between England and Ireland, do you think in the Middle East... They would be fucking uh, protesting and writing over things that are happening in, in the UK and Ireland. No fucking way. Similarly, if a mad war happened between, I don't know, Somalia and Ethiopia, do you think man in the Middle East would be protesting and writing over things that are happening in Somalia versus um, Ethiopia? No fucking way, blood. That's how you got to think, you know. Would they do it for me? Would they do it for us? No way. If a war kicked off between fucking Togo and Ghana, since they're on the Ras Club map, do you think, yeah, the people them in Palestine and Israel would be rioting and protesting? They don't give a fuck, blood. So why should you care about what's going on in other countries? I'm not saying it's a good thing, but fam, what I'm saying is you should be more focused on what's going on in your life, especially if people in the other country wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, they might talk about it, but they definitely ain't protesting, they definitely ain't writing, and they definitely ain't going to be coming to blows with people on the internet over something that's going on in another country. Stop allowing yourself to get distracted, blood. But you know what? I, 
I was going to say, I don't know if it's a melanated thing or a ninja thing. Because obviously, people of all nations allow themselves to get distracted in that. But us people, melanated people, us ninjas and that. Well, I ain't a ninja. We understand what I'm trying to say in it, yeah? We are the most distracted. Like, if I wanted to distract people that look like me, all I would have to do is come up with some bullshit story and people will lose their fucking mind. So, for example, in real life, obviously they said that, oh, black children are six times more likely to get strip searched or whatever. Yeah. That might be true. And obviously we know that, that it could possibly be true because we see black children getting stop and searched all the time. Why are black children getting stop and searched all the time? Because in our demographic, yeah, in London and that, you know, it's just the black youths that are causing the, uh, uh, committing the most crimes and that's obviously that's why we're getting stopped and searched so much. So anyway, let's say it, uh, it's true. Black children are six times more likely to be stopped and searched and that. That's cool. But I can make up a complete lie and people that look like me will lose their fucking mind. If I was one of the news outlets, ITV or BBC or whatever, do you know what I would say to make black people lose their fucking mind? I'd say, oh, did you know that black people and people of colour are four times more likely to be refused their prescription drugs? Just make up some bullshit. And black people are like, yeah, do you know what? That one time, you know, and then they'll start sharing stories and that. And like, yeah, you know what? It's fucking right, you know. Make up any old bullshit garbage crap to distract you. Stop allowing yourself to be fucking distracted. You know what? People want to be distracted because then that means they don't need to work on themselves. No one wants to work on themselves. People want to focus on other people. No, you need to be more self-centered than selfish and focus on your fucking self. This is the reason why rich people are so rich and wealthy, you know? Because they don't allow themselves to get distracted. On the flip side, the reason why rich people are so wealthy and have so much money is because... They're so smart. Do you know what they've done? To keep people poor, they, told, they tell poor people, money won't make you happy. Yeah? Money won't make you happy. Don't listen to no fucking rich person who says, money won't make you happy. I tell you fucking why. All of these rich people that say, money won't make you happy, ask them, tell them, okay, cool. If money don't make you happy, why don't you donate all your money to charity and leave yourself but £200 in the bank and go and get a normal nine to fucking five and earn 40 grand a year? They won't do it, blood. They won't do it. So they're lying, blood. They don't ever listen to no rich people that say money won't make you happy. I'm not saying money will solve every fucking problem, but it will most. Money will make you a lot happier. Yeah? You cry in a fucking Lamborghini. So... It's just foolishness, man. You need to start focusing on yourself, man. Like, if you don't ever wonder why I'm, I'm so ahead in the car, I, I don't I don't even know what's going on in these countries. What has, what's going on in Burkina Faso or Mali? What's that, how's that helping me? You can do all the research you want, blood. But when your head hits the pillow and you wake up in the morning, you're still going to be broke. All these people running around trying to work out whether the earth is flat or not. Blood, you need to be working out why your fucking bank balance is so flat and low. Fucking dumb asses, man. Like, I don't understand these people that obsess over these fucking conspiracy theories. You need to be obsessing about becoming successful. But then obviously, you allow yourself to get distracted and you allow the rich people to tell you, oh, money won't make you happy. What do you mean money won't make you happy? Garbage, man. Nonsense, man. So... I don't give a damn what's going on in other countries. I, I I don't. I don't. Because it's not affecting me. Yeah? Unless, obviously, they're stopping supplies from coming over and that, yeah. But, like, if there's certain things that are going on in other countries and that, it ain't affecting me. So why am I going to even give it two minutes of my time? You, you, need, you need to put your efforts and energy into the right thing, man. Because then people over there, they don't give a fuck about us. So why the fuck you give a damn about them?